All right, guys, just want to do a quick video on uh, uh, siliconing up um, this hatch cover for my uh, Minn Kota mount on my uh, on my boat there. You just don't want to do too thick of a bead where it spreads it over the whole flange because when it times, comes time to getting it off, it makes an absolute nightmare if the uh, silicon's spread that thick. Um, you nearly had to bend the thing to get it off, so... Um, just a thin bead sealing all your edges and um, around the holes and then um, add a bit of extra silicon to the uh, the nut certs and um, that should be enough just to hold it on there and seal it up alright just a bit of a tip it's worth mentioning that this stuff um, cures really quick it says that you got about 10 minutes before it starts to tack off so you want to make sure um, whatever you, you're going to seal up is um, well prepped, like you got it masked off, clean, ready to go, everything's ready to roll, um, because yeah, it doesn't give you much time to um, uh, bolt it all up and then clean off the excess um, before it starts to go tacky. And then if, um, yeah, if it goes tacky, then when you're trying to clean off the excess, it goes all... Uh, sort of claggy so um managed to um get most of it off with how i mastered up and um yeah pretty happy with the uh, result and um i found that most of the silicon pushed out how i applied it but i actually applied a thin bead around the edge um just so you don't get any pockets or uh, any voids where the uh, salt can build up and corrode through your boat and stuff so and um yeah, it all pushed out extra out of these uh, bolt holes, so um, I'm pretty sure it's got an airtight seal on there. And um, yeah, it's worth mentioning putting a bung in a void like this so you can nest check if any moisture's getting in there or any water or anything. And then you might just have to seal it up a bit better. But I've um, sprayed all the cavity in here with um, uh, what do you call it, lanolin and then just clean the mating surfaces but pretty happy with the, uh, the result of how this um, quick release bracket turned out and yeah so if I gotta repair it, it should be a bit easier all I have to do is um, just undo this uh, this um, through hole connection and then uh, just unlug it from the uh, isolation point and um, yeah I think that's better than having a plug on the outside you're just gonna get heaps of drama so yeah all in all um, pretty happy and um, yeah the only other thing is I didn't leave myself too much bloody clearance with that blade there I don't know if you can see it's about five mil so yeah it's pretty precise fit but um yeah the uh, encoder sits closer to the um to the cab so that's what I want and um yeah have the prop facing inwards so you don't clip your face on it I originally I used the original mount holes on this side and then um, for this bracket but then these holes um, were a little bit out so the, the puck in the middle I had to drill four extra holes and then I sicker flex the old holes up but yeah it's pretty self-explanatory to put one of these on just got to make sure you don't your surface is level otherwise um if you over tighten it this is not gonna go in but um yeah I, I'm a bit pedantic so it took me a while but I cleaned everything up and checked everything that was right. Alright cheers